Pretend there was Jaws music. You know, as that showed up. So here we go, guys. I am back. I've got this little white box. You know what this little white box is. You should know. It's a monthly knife club box. Now you know. Now you do know. So we're going to get into this monthly knife club box. Now this could be, this could be the tier two name brand. This could be the Onyx. I never know until I open the box. I just don't know. Because they, they look, I remember there was a time where, where only the Onyx came in a white box and everything else came in a little black bag. But now we don't know because everything comes in the white box. So until we actually open it, we don't know. There are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns. The ones we don't know, we don't. Okay, ready? Let's do this. I hate when I don't cut straight. There we go. Um, do we have tape on the sides of the box? No. Yes, we do. All in an effort to try to hide the shipping label from you. So I don't have to go through the ridiculous steps to peel the shipping label off of the box. All right, so let's do this. Let's see what we got. It's a Tuya. Is that, is that a Tuya? I'm assuming. Onyx. It's the integrated big... Now, I've seen this company around. I have not tried one. I don't think, or maybe. I forget. I forget things. Maybe I have. There's been so many knives that have passed through my hands. Maybe I have tried this brand. I don't know. But it is the Tuya Knife Company. It is the Big Belly V2. Um, 154CM. Some people... Mm, oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, so I was saying it's 154 CM. Now, there are some people who want to, I don't know, for some reason, they're like, oh, that's crappy steel. That is not crappy steel. And I keep saying this. It was Benchmade's bread and butter steel for decades for a reason. Um, it is very good EDC steel. So we were their first large wholesale order stateside back in 2018. I don't, I wasn't doing monthly knife club in 2018. So yeah, I don't know, but let me show you their specs right here. So you can see, cause I don't like to have to do any, I hate guys. I hate editing. I despise it. And uh, a few seconds saved in editing, having to type is awesome to me. So, um, Michael Galovic? I don't know who that is. Honestly, it's a designer I haven't heard of. I saw the Michael Energy and I thought Gavco. I thought we got another Mike Gavco. That's awesome. So oddly enough, so normally Monthly Knife Club gives you the whole range of what the knife would cost if you shop around the internet. So that's the, the cost of the subscription and that's the total value. Normally they give you like, if you shopped around on the web, they'll give you the low end and the high end and the high end is usually the MSRP anyway. Um, but I'm strangely curious now. So not quite a Pelican case, okay? But still a nice reusable case for many things. Good affirmative snaps. And it's it's sealed, yeah. So uh, we're gonna get to the knife because it is gorgeous looking, but yeah, so the case has a rubber gasket foam on both sides so you could definitely use this case for a number of, of good things besides just storing the knife lots of foam in it so there's lots of space so the case is awesome because you can make a fire starting kit out of this case you could use it to protect other things i love it okay but that is not the main event here we are here for this what is the inlay does it say let's see uh, with a sculpted single piece g10 but it's not a single piece because it's got something in there. Oh, it's metal. Is it metal? It's not, I don't know. It's nice, whatever it is, I like it. So, wow, very finely finished jade. It's the ghosty jade, not the minty, wow. I mean, you can kind of see the seam between the pieces, the backspacer and the scale. You can't feel it though. I mean, if you couldn't see that, like, so if I were to oil this up right now, you you would lose the, 
any differentiation between this would seem like one single piece I mean is it one single piece oh my god this is one single piece that's just kind of the grain of the G10 this is one piece of G10 completely cut it did kind of look like two for a minute but that's just the grain of the G10 that's awesome so very minimalist construction which I like and basically the only reason you even have this screw here is to hold your clip on I don't know if that is reversible I don't know if there's uh, a little relief to put that clip on there so it is tip up for right-handed carry right now um, Wow! I love that they just come out and say this it's to use axis style lock they don't give it a fancy name EDC size it is EDC size but it still fills out the whole hand nicely um, it is centered well Wow okay I just want to so I don't this does not look like G10 what is is this a metal in okay whatever that is a great blade you know what that reminds me of Ooh, Ritter the Ritter the Doug Ritter Grotillion that is a beautiful blade look at it look at those lines awesome very minimal um branding on it or anything basically just has the designer's name and a little to you symbol very well tuned up no blade play um, you, f you feel like you've got very good control with their axis style lock it's interesting because normally with any one of these locks you can kind of see down into it over there but you can't it feels really good why do people not put jimping right there on the thumb ramp ever when there's an opportunity to put jimping on the thumb ramp i don't know but i love this this is like one block of jade g10 there's a serial number oh no that's a blade still there's your 150 come on camera don't be a dick there we go there's your 154 cm blade steel on there it's not serialized but that would have been cool too it's a comfortable handle it's a very it's you know what this reminds me it honestly reminds me of the kind of handle that i might have made when i was first doing back when people did not do custom uh g10 griptilian handles like the kind of shape i might do i really like it. although i never would have i never would have had the machining back when i was doing it the machining prowess or even imagination to do a single piece g10 scale weight is pretty good it is a little front heavy a little bit because obviously once it's open you have all your steel out here um, and you just have all g10 there's no liners there are no liners involved in this knife it is just all g10 and then you have to have i mean very interesting design you've got to have your washers in there right but how does okay so I bet if we took this apart, the reason those are there, there's got to be something. I want to take it apart so bad to see how it works. There's got to be something. So those Omega Springs have to have something to hook into. Something there, because that's where your spring power comes from. Um, and I'm betting that there's something on the interior of this for those Omega Springs to uh, hook into there. And that's really the whole thing about liners in most... Um, axis type knives they in, in the liners is a small hole drilled where the omega spring has just a little tiny not a hook but like a little tiny bar or something and that hooks in and that's where you get the tension from but this is very different because it doesn't have it you don't see any protrusion on the inside of the knife at all where those omega springs might hook into so it's got to be on those these little inlays here which is why they're there obviously very clean design i really like it i really really like it i've seen the tuya brand um, on amazon and a couple other reputable sellers i've just i've never i've always kind of wondered but there's always been something else that's come along before i pulled the trigger on the purchase Ooh, feels good God damn it there we go uh, there we go helps when you actually engage the blade on the paper very clean slice let's see 
pull through with no effort and also very clean. And then look at this area near Bowser where all of the all of the the multicam and everything's coming right off the background because of all the cutting we do. Pew, 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 pew. Yes, and it pews. This is a great EDC shape. Ooh, I love this. I'm definitely gonna carry this. Um, it's a flat ground, by the way. So we call this a saber ground, I guess, would be saber ground uh, drop point. Um, I love it though, with the two-tone satin finish and just the action is great. Only thing that would make this thing a little bit better in my opinion, would be a deep carry clip on there because I'm a deep carry clip fan. But wow, the G10 is just finished so smoothly. So smoothly. I mean, it's it, it feels so good. I love the little window where you can see the 154 CM right in there. And that's quite a cool feature. Um, and then you can see it when it's closed as well. This is a great knife. I love this knife. I'm interested in seeing what other models they make kind of and yeah so now because i've always wondered about this brand the tuya and seen it uh on amazon and things like that i am curious now about other models they make and i will probably look into some of them but this is awesome i love my monthly knife club i always say it well, there's a link to monthly knife club in the video description if you're interested they have uh, onyx is my favorite i love onyx but they have so many different types and plans and fixed blade and folding and different levels and stuff and uh so you can check them out they got i i like i i think daryl runs a really good business there it's a guy i respect what do you guys think i really like i mean it, they had me in jade honestly but like a piece of crap in jade is still a piece of crap this is really well done this is going to oh man i gotta get it's a nice it's a nice feel but like with everything else i gotta get I get to get the tuned feeling in my hand perfectly so I never mess up the one-handed action like that. You hear the sound though? I don't know if the sound's gonna come out on camera as good as it is here. It has such a nice sound when it opens up. Anyway, what do you guys, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on this one? I think this is a great knife. I'm gonna be very happy to carry this around. And we got a great box for all sorts of other adventures and uses. So if you guys are happy with what you're seeing here, consider, uh, you know, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing videos, all that fun stuff. Um, definitely share your opinions on the subscription and the knife itself. Uh, if you have experience with the brand, share it. Uh, give me an idea of what knife I should look for next from this brand. What do you guys think? So anyway, thanks guys. This has been fun. This is exciting. I love this knife. I can't wait to carry it around. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome and I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.